In November 2010, astronomers Pedro Bernardinelli and Gary Bernstein captured the first images of a new celestial body never before seen in the Dark Energy Survey archives at the Cerro Tololo Interamericano Observatory in Chile, abbreviated as CTIO. The new object was observed by chance for the first time when it was 3 billion miles from the Sun, almost the average distance to Neptune, and the data pointed to it being an enormous rocky and icy body. This comet was baptized with the name C-2014 UN-271, and later with the name Bernardinelli Bernstein, in honor of the astronomers who discovered it. But this past April 12, 2022, NASA confirmed that it is the biggest comet ever seen by astronomers in history, cataloging it as a mega comet in the direction of the Sun. Is this comet a danger to the Earth? Stay to find out. Giant Comet C-2014 UN-271 Bernardinelli Bernstein is it heading towards Earth? Size Never Before Seen in a Comet Since the discovery of the comet, Bernardinelli Bernstein, astronomers focused all their attention on discovering its direction and composition. However, being such a distant object, this task was not easy. To determine the actual size of a comet, it is necessary to isolate its icy nucleus from the cloud of dust and steam that surrounds it. This cloud that surrounds a comet is called a coma and is composed mainly of water and other minerals that are released by the effect of sublimation that occurs when the comet approaches the sun. Astronomer Man Tohoi from the Macau University of Science and Technology, Tapia Macau, lead author of the research, mentioned that they used images from various telescopes such as Hubble, CTIO, as well as radio observations from the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile. Once they managed to obtain images of the comet, the astronomers performed a simulation with a mathematical model based on the brightness and apparent position of the comet, isolated the brightness coming from the comma, and this left them with an image in which the utterly isolated nucleus can be observed, resulting in the comet being approximately 85 miles wide breaking the previous record held by Comet C-2002 BQ-94, which has a diameter of 59 miles. This makes the comet Bernardinelli Bernstein the largest discovered to date. Some scientists have even given it a new classification, naming it a mega comet, as a way to indicate that we are in the presence of something that has never been seen before. It should be stressed that this work of the scientists who managed to determine the size of the comet is a task that required a lot of ingenuity and combined effort since it is an object that is about 2 billion miles away and that is barely visible with the most powerful telescopes we have. Comet Composition The observations made by the team of researchers led by Manto Hui have yielded critical data on the chemical and morphological composition of the comet. It is estimated that the comet's nucleus is as black as carbon and that the coma surrounding it is composed mainly of carbon monoxide. What is most striking is that although it is very far away, the comet presents an intense brightness compared to other objects that are at the same distance, which could be an indicator that inside the comet there are exhalations of gases or steam that increase the area of the coma and give it an unusual brightness. Usually, comets from these regions of the solar system are made of rock and ice. When they approach an orbit close to the Sun, the solar radiation strips the outermost layers of the comet's nucleus, causing the ice to be sublime and become vapor. That is why comets have that characteristic tail that extends for millions of kilometers in the opposite direction to the Sun. This makes them one of the most amazing celestial bodies in the solar system. Origin this comet comes from the hypothetical nesting place of trillions of comets called the Oort Cloud. The diffuse cloud is thought to have an inner edge of 2,000 to 5,000 times the distance between the Sun and Earth. Its outer edge could extend at least a quarter of the distance to the closest star to our Sun, the Alpha Centauri system. That is to say that if the Oort Cloud existed, it would measure approximately one light year. Despite the many investigations and observations with telescopes that have been carried out over the many years, the reality is that we still do not know with certainty whether or not the Oort Cloud exists because we can't see it. The Oort Cloud, first hypothesized in 1950 by Dutch astronomer Jan Oort, remains a scientific theory because the countless comets that make it up are too faint and distant to be observed directly. 
Ironically, this means that the largest structure in the solar system is almost invisible. It is estimated that NASA's pair of Voyager spacecraft won't reach the inner realm of the Oort cloud for another 300 years, and could take up to 30,000 years to traverse. It is expected that with the new generation of optical telescopes such as the James Webb or the ELT, we will be able to observe in better detail these areas of the solar system that are still a complete mystery, and thus determine whether or not there is a cloud of comets that surrounds the solar system. Still above all, we hope to be able to find more comets like Bernard and Ellie Bernstein in the hope that none of them pose a latent danger to humanity. Panspermia Theory On September 9, 2021, the Las Cumbres Observatory detected an apparent explosion on a comet Bernard and Ellie Bernstein. According to the report, the comet was illuminated with a magnitude of 0.65. This means that the detected explosion could have been caused by the expulsion of large amounts of material, either in geysers or by the detachment of a large mass of rock. At the time of the explosion, the comet Bernardinelli Bernstein was 19.89 astronomical units or 3 billion kilometers from the Sun and 19.44 astronomical units or 29,000 million kilometers from Earth. Despite being so far away, the explosion could be observed from Earth with telescopes, suggesting that large comets expel these materials more frequently than previous believed, depositing organic material on nearby planets. This discovery feeds the hypothesis that life on Earth and the water in the oceans could have come from comets. In addition to the Earth, the places with the most water in the solar system are the comets. These are practically made of frozen water. When a comet approaches the Sun, the solar wind releases its outer layers. When the solar system formed about 5 billion years ago, these events could have been much more frequent. Comets that were still close to the Sun likely collided with the Earth, depositing large amounts of ice and water that gave rise to the oceans we currently have. If this is the case, could it not be that life on Earth could also have come from comets? There is no evidence that this is the case, but it is a possibility that gains strength with the discovery of this new comet. Trajectory The comet Bernardinelli Bernstein has fallen towards the Sun for more than 1 million years. It is estimated to reach perihelion, the closest approach to the Sun, around January 23, 2031, approaching at a distance of 10.95 AU, just outside Saturn's orbit. The comet will make its closest approach to Earth around April 5, 2031, at a distance of 10.11 AU. This is much farther than Saturn is, so you can rest assured the comet is not heading to Earth and does not pose a danger to humanity. We are safe for now. Orbital calculations estimate that its orbital exit period will be about 4.5 million years, with an affiliate distance of about 54,000 AU, this being the only time that we will be able to see the comet. Once it gets far enough away, it will be just a memory that we will never see again. The Oort Cloud Comets in the hypothetical Oort Cloud didn't form that far from the Sun. Instead, they are thought to have been thrown out of the solar system billions of years ago, by gravitational pulls produced by the mass of outer planets when the orbits of Jupiter and Saturn were still evolving. Distant comets only travel back to the Sun and planets if their distant orbits are disturbed by the gravitational pull of a passing star. Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein follows an elliptical orbit of 3 million years, taking it as far from the Sun as about half a light year. The comet is now less than 2 billion miles from the Sun, falling almost perpendicular to the plane of our solar system. At that distance, temperatures on the comet are minus 348 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's warm enough for carbon monoxide to sublime from the surface and produce the dusty coma that envelops the comet and gives it that characteristic glow. Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein provides an invaluable clue about the size distribution of comets in the Oort cloud and thus their total mass. Thanks to this, now the estimates of the mass of the Oort cloud vary widely, reaching up to 20 times the mass of the Earth. The Mega Comet and the Terrifying Truth It is about 50 times larger than typical comets. The Bernardinelli Bernstein mass is about 500 billion tons. This is 100,000 times greater than the mass of a typical comet. We are in the presence of the enormous comet discovered in all of history and one of the heaviest. We are fortunate that it is not heading towards the Earth, but it is also a wake-up call to what we do not know. 
Although many may not know it, the regions beyond Neptune's orbit are areas of which very little is known. Only a few probes have been in those regions, and our telescopes and radio telescopes are not yet powerful enough to pick up the cold and small objects found in this region. According to David Jewett, Professor of Planetary Science and Astronomy at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and the co-author of the new study, this comet is the tip of the iceberg of many thousands of comets that are too faint to see in the most distant parts of the solar system. It was always suspected that this comet had to be significant because it was very bright, even though it was very far away. Still, it has been confirmed not only to be significant, but it is the largest that has been seen and that it might not be alone. The chances that there are more comets like Bernard and Nellie Bernstein are very high. Now more than ever, it is when we must worry about finding them because if we come across the terrifying news that any of these are heading towards the Earth, we will be much more likely to save ourselves if we find it 50 years in advance than if we find it just a few months before the fateful day of the disaster. Let's hope that when we encounter the dreaded Doomsday Comet, we'll be ready to know what to do.